morning time in Seattle. We just finished shooting a Worth It hot dog episode here. I figure since we're already here, You ready to go home? Yeah. We're in the Northwest. We gotta eat salmon. Ah, come on, let's go. He has no choice. We're doing it. Good morning, guys. Did your mom ever wake you up that way? No. On this special last minute edition of Worth It, we're going to eat at three amazing salmon places in Seattle, Washington at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. Worth it. It's going to be a great, great day. Yay. What makes a good salmon? Helps old lady salmons cross the road, carries their groceries home for them, flosses. I don't know if salmon need to floss. They're constantly gargling their mouth. First stop, Emerald City. Fish and chips. It's hard to find good cheap salmon. If you catch a fish, it's free. So what's sure. the problem? Teach a man to fish, yada, 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 free salmon. Today we're in Seattle at Emerald City Fish and Chips. I'm Steve Allen. I'm the owner slash operator. Slash everything. Slash everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're gonna be trying the two-piece salmon and chips. It costs $8.25 and you get chips, which are fries. You get coleslaw and you get tartar sauce with that. Oh, tartar sauce, what you recommend on that? or? Oh, definitely, definitely. We make our own tartar sauce here and it's awesome. It's right. a little spicy version. How'd you get started in fish and chips? Like, why that specifically? My family's originally from Louisiana, so our uniqueness is the Louisiana flair. The Cajun style flavors to fill your palate, but not too overbearing to where you don't taste the fish. When we get the fish, we cut it up, batter them up. We use a corn flour with our seasonings from theirs, drop it into grease, and it's it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're glad you're in Seattle right now, aren't you? Okay. Aren't you? All right, all right. Okay. Can we do the tartar sauce with fries right now, though? Yeah. That's what I'm craving. I think we might have to bring this tartar sauce to the other restaurants we go to today. Oh. oh. Look at that color. That's gorgeous. Majestic. That's that wild Alaskan salmon he was talking about. Let's swim into my mouth. <sighs> I'm just gonna eat mine. Mmm. What the fish? That was incredible. The batter is so thin, so you can still get so much fish in there. Yeah, the fish isn't hiding. Talk about the seasoning. It's got a yeah. kick in it, but it's not overpowering the flavor of the fish. I've already worn through one cup of tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. I've always been a little skeptical when people talk about source of where a fish comes from and how it relates to its quality. Here it's just like so clear, it's leaping off the plate. You're not gonna get this color in your life. You want some, Adam? Come closer, into the frame. Whee! Super good, right? So we met a guy, a gentleman named Kyle. He's been ordering this salmon fish and chips for five years now. Halfway through that, he discovered smoked salmon chowder. The best chowder I've had. And he said we have to get it. So we didn't come here to get it, but we're getting it. You won't regret it, I promise. Well, hello. How's it going? So smoky. I love it. So perfect for Seattle. Perfect for Seattle. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place two. We just had some salmon chowder, just had some salmon chips. Wow, look at this tree. Look at that tree. Wow. Show the people. Look Whoa. at that color. The majesty. I think like the scenery right now made that salmon chowder so much better. Salmon facts. Salmon can get up to five feet long. That's like a person. I'm going as Sammy for Halloween next year. We're now on our way to the second salmon spot. What's gonna be special about this grilled salmon? They have a very specific process that's unique to the Northwest. Cool. I'm James Somerville. I'm the executive chef here at Ivor's Salmon House here in Seattle. We're actually gonna start off with an appetizer, which in-house uh, alder smoked salmon belly. We'll serve that on crostini with a little bit of herbed cream cheese and some watermelon radish. And then we're gonna prepare our seasonal preparation of Alaskan Wild King salmon. All of our salmon here at the Salmon House are wild stock. They are caught in Alaska or the Northwest area. We like to feature some of the first runs of all the salmon, fresh salmon. It has a very good fat content. That way it's moist, it melts in your mouth and has a great flavor on the outside. And what's unique about alder wood? Alder wood is something, again, traditional to the Northwest and something that imparts that sweet, smoky flavor to the seafood. We're here to enhance the flavor of the fish, not overpower it. What is the seasonal preparation? We have a preserved lemon fennel beurre blanc sauce with a little black truffle drizzle over the top and then fresh horseradish that's grated over the top of that. Let's drink the wine first. Napkin yourself first, please. Cheers. Yeah. That was staunch. Staunch? Yeah. I'm not sure you're using that word right. First up, alder smoked salmon crostini with an herb spread. 
That's excellent. That is the fattiest piece of salmon I've ever had, I think. This is an honest chunk of fish, but it has this beautiful alder smoked flavor. There it is. In all its glory. The Alderwood Grilled Wild King Salmon from Alaska. Black truffle drizzle. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I f with a drizzle. You know a drizzle is great because you only need a little bit of it. I don't think we can cheers this, so. Mental cheers. That was so buttery, so melty, so delightful. That's when you know salmon's done right is when it's flaking off. I feel like the word flaky has been ruined by people who are habitually late for things. Really, let's bring flaky back to the fish. Adam. It's very good, right? Get out of here. This is the way I always want salmon to be made. Perfectly tender in the center, smoking fish, nothing else. Sitting next to your friend, Steven. Alone in the woods forever. I actually think I liked the smoked salmon again more than the actual salmon. That's happened at both places now. Can I just say that Seattle is knocking my socks off and I hate that you brought me here. Who took you here for your first time in Seattle? That's right. Ready for a wild caught salmon fix. Oh, whoa, we're going to tunnel. Tunnel time. That's a pretty good fact. So a salmon could give you a high five. I think it's more impressive that a salmon could hurdle over you. Oh, I spilled coffee <laughs> on myself and I did it so long ago that it's already dry. I just have a big dumb coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks like a piece of poop. <laughs> so now where are we going? One fish, two fish, last fish, here we go. We're going to Aqua <laughs> by El Gaucho. Aqua by El Gaucho, is that a kind of cologne? Aqua by El Gaucho. Hi, I'm Wesley Hood. I'm the executive chef here at Aqua Bell Gaucho. Welcome to Seattle. What are you going to be serving us today? We have some fresh wild Alaskan king salmon, simple prep with some chanterelles and a lavender beurre blanc. Here in the Pacific Northwest, we have some of the best seafood around, but we also have some really cool mushrooms. Chanterelles and salmon are kind of best friends forever, I think. So yeah, we just got this guy in. You can always tell they're, hello. You can always tell they're fresh. Their eye will be cloudy if it's not. King is the king. All the nice marbling in there. King salmon, it has the highest fat content. Omega-3 fatty acids, it's good for you fat. There's a series of pin bones right here. There's 32 bones in each side. So I'll just be pulling out each bone like this. Now I'm gonna season my fish, clarify butter, a little gaucho seasons, just salt, garlic, paprika, a little onion. So right on the grill. We're waiting till it kind of gets a nice caramelization, like a nice brown line on one side, then we'll just kind of quarter turn it like that. You get those nice diamond marks on it. Starting to get a little bit of that white coming out of the side there. For us, it's about sourcing the best quality ingredients. Fresh, never before been frozen. Oh, so that's a little rare to mid-rare there. It's about perfect. Now I just plate it up and then just some fried leeks for fun. But for us, it's about the quality and the best eating experience for our guests. I love how as the day's gone on and we've spent progressively more money, the salmon has gotten progressively simpler. Now it's just grilled with a light layer of sauce underneath, but then topped with some stuff. Some stuff. We got a uh, Chardonnay. Shall we? Cheers to Seattle. That's good wine. Nice and crisp. Lovely. But whiny. Shall we start with the uh, mushrooms? Um, yeah, I want to try the mushrooms because they yeah. sound delicious and a treat in themselves. They get their mushrooms from a guy named Mushroom Joe who comes by when he pleases <laughs> with lots of mushrooms. It's not truffle. It's chanterelle. This, we don't need a cheers for this. Yeah, we do. I prefer mushrooms like this than truffles. You ready for this, Adam? This is the most sexual food we've gotten. Oh, some lavender in there. Ready? Just keep Stop. swimming. You're just dripping on the table. Oh. right now. I didn't think that fish could be succulent, but that's what this fish is. I can like taste the salmon when you eat it. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Stop tasting through my mouth so much better than the middle steak, the middle fish that we got today. Funny that you slipped there and said steak, because this is so much like a perfectly cooked steak. Not only do I have a view of the water, I have a view of mm -hmm. mountains. This is astounding. Like, I mean, this part is hard to look at, but like everything around it is incredible. I can look up here and there's a mirror and I see all of us. Usually I'm mad by now, but this is good. I'm glad you uh, dragged me along. <sighs> <Seven>. ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so done. 
which salmon was the most worth it at its given price point. Here's the deal. There's no question that the best salmon I ate today came from Aqua. Was it worth it for $56? That being said, it's all about Emerald City for me. I mean, you could go there any day of the year and get that awesome chowder. Ivar's is the kind of place that I would go right before a football game. They got good deals on salmon. You hang out, 25 bucks for lunch, but I think I'm gonna go Emerald. Even though I didn't even plan for that to be in the video, that chowder had me chowing down. What gets eaten by bears in the rivers? Salmon do, 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 do. Are you okay? Hit me with another salmon fact. Doesn't matter how good it is. You're drunk on Omega. From Alpha to Omega 3s, we've had all the salmon Seattle has to offer. Oh, yes!